sorry. Uh, my apologies. The video just stopped. My video just stopped. But you didn't miss anything. Felix won the fight. Counter attack. All is going to come up. Like I actually want to have Byleth get rid of those, uh, get rid of the butt faces. That's going to be a problem. So what if they disable some old contraptions? It's no loss to us. The city's defenses are under my exclusive control. So, the system has been modified. The person operating the traps must be elsewhere. Okay, that's good. But he might go after... No, he won't. You know, assassins do have bad, uh, bad performances against magic, right? So he may put, he may could, like he may put a few scratches on uh, Felix, but he won't be able to grave, like he won't be able to uh, try to stop him from dodging. <laughs> Obvious. Uh, I can't, I can't see anything. What's happening? The whole thing got censored. Preventing me from, uh, seeing a guy get, uh, absolutely, um, uh, you know, shocked. I'm not gonna have her rely on this as much. I'm only having her use it just to hit people from afar. Yeah, girls, this is gonna hurt. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just definitely gonna go after Anna. She can definitely attack on an extra space. Come again. It's not too far from her. Trying to look at something. She's got. Oh, it's. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm like trying to see if she has the thing. Uh, the. The thing to increase her magic. And what I mean by the thing, I mean this. She's supposed to have it on her finger. The Imagine being defeated by me. Marginally stronger. In the end, I may not have gleaned your secret. Yet, even if I die, someone will follow my work, and another after that. Such is the way of scholarship. Yeah. If I die for this new empire, then I have no regrets. I love the way she counterattacks from afar, dude. <sighs> Professor Hanneman. That should take care of the traps. 
Right. Traps are disabled. A tragic end. Byleth is counter lady. I had to protect my friends. Took me lightly. Don't waste it. There's no turning back now. If you just have Byleth uh, equipped any weapon, she can just counterattack from afar with it. I may not survive. Byleth is not in range. <laughs> Thank you. What's my strategy? Let's wait until Felix get up there. Oh, wait a minute. Much needed. All right. Major read pen all these guys in the back. Make them reap what they sow with the crescent sickle. Hubert's going to be much of a biatch if I don't uh, keep my distance away from them. Gotta have my uh, people tread lightly if they don't want to get hit by the Sephiroth move. I wish I had, um, Mercedes use Darn Meteor. But I'm afraid she doesn't have, like, she literally doesn't have that. She really doesn't. Yeah. Oh. Only I shall know how you die here. <clears throat> like, isn't there a way for you to learn Meteor? I'm not sure. I'll have to... I suppose you thought defeating the troops outside the castle first would demoralize the ones within. Not such a bad idea, honestly. But you failed to account for me. Four sure you can. Two have been blocked, but others have been count. Uh, others have been dodged. The archers and root. can level up from these guys, so I'll let you do that. The archers are gonna be a bitch. I'll have to keep Constance out of harm's way. Her defense, however, is uh, a bit bad. Oh, it's coming up a bit. It's coming up a bit. But she's surprisingly weak to arrows, so I'm not gonna have her get one-shotted. 
She hasn't used bolting, so she can use it on the archers. Just like constant? I mean, uh, Catherine? Now he's gonna be a pin in the butt, so I need to do something about that. To keep her up here. I want to red. I don't want her to attack me. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It had to be done. One archer is going to be on her butt. That's okay. Um, Constance can take care of that. I'm glad I can count on you. One bonus. Um, I have these three move up. <coughs> Go get her, uh, go get Mon Wallace's attention. Dun, 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 dun. 
That is such a good Bayonetta song. <laughs> well, it's not a Bayonetta song, but it's got a Bayonetta vibe to it. I say, if they could make a no like, I say, if Bloody Roar returns, I want some music to be made, like, I want some of the music that may come to a new Bloody Roar game in the future to have this kind of music in it. In the name of justice! Yeah! Yeah! I won't falter. Any merit I have hails the side yours. And for what people say about Bloody Roar 4, I really don't care. It's gonna be a- it, it, I still want that game. Imagine being defeated by me. So that way I can, like, play it on my PS2 sometime. And then that way, um... Just... be careful. That way I'll have something to play it, like, have one Bloody Roar game to play every now and then. And she'll get healed too. Mercedes is just a tank, dude. This is for everyone's good. <laughs> She's a healing tank. She'll get healed since I have that healing since I gave her that healing staff. To lose. Thank goodness we're allies. <laughs> That's a new one. What's the plan? That is a new word that she just said. I want to hear more compliments from everyone. Mon why are you moving over there? <laughs> like, Byleth is over here. Attack. Here is something to believe in. All is going to come up. Why hit someone, uh, like, why attack someone from face to face when you can hit him from a mile away? Get your ass over here. Oh, dear professor. Fate can be so cruel. Spilling the blood of your students with your own hands. How can you carry on after that? Yes! Try harder! You may have dodged the first time, but the next time it won't be so easy for you. I hate to have to kill someone I know, but I have no choice. And of course, um, oh, Anna is using Eleven's sword right now. Everyone else is fine. Just do it. Bring out more of those troops. Uh, please? Pretty please? And I literally did not think that they would add this type of music to Smash Brothers. I say, that game is lacking Bayonetta music-wise. Your, where's Meteor? Can't use Meteor anymore? Good. You 
won't be able to use Reunion during that time to bring out Meteor in that matter. Those words are refer uh, being referred to uh, Final Fantasy VII. Who has it? Oh, Felix! Die! Hate me if you must. Mm, is that the other horseman? Uh, oh, I can't. He's too far. Oh! <laughs> I got you all figured out. New crit. <laughs> New critting quotes. How many usages do you have on that? Oh, Seventeen. All right, it's time to switch up now. The silver sword back on. I could do, uh, Dimitri, you just deal with, uh, Manuel, I feel. Also, just don't attack her from a mile away, just... Ah, oh, so he'll get another shot. And he won't be able to grave her, neither. I mean, she won't be able to grave him. You've grown into a fine, handsome man, Dimitri. Bit of a shame you've also become a violent beast. Men like you make the Silver Maiden cry. Oh, I suppose it is a shame, Professor Manuela. Perhaps I should have appeared before you holding a bouquet of flowers, rather than the weapon that will end your life. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> so, the Silver Maiden will be my last stage? You know, that's... that's not too bad. Dude, I love these dialogues. <sighs> Professor Manuela. <sighs> At least we have stopped the reinforcements. Wow, I did not know that Dimitri had a dialogue uh, for uh, Manuela. <laughs> I may have skipped a- um, I've been looking- like, I did look at the dialogues for this game. And I believe, um, the person who made all of those dialogues missed out on some of them. But I believe it's gotten updated since the last time I looked at it. I really want to get to, um... Use the Silver Sword. It's much more threatening. Since you can tap from the far, that is. You know, Byleth will have an easier time dealing with, uh, many, many magic users this way. Like, since she's wielding a silver sword right now, she can actually just deal way more damage than how she, uh... She can deal way more damage to them. Like, look at her strength. 
And magic users are weak to, um, milling weapons. First Brander Field and now here. You certainly have a talent for getting in our way. Marvel at our strat. Oh, you're gonna miss. Never knew that they were going to make a song like this, dude. I don't expect forgiveness. <laughs> That's as far as I go. I'll withdraw. For now, for now. I'll withdraw. The Empire now. troops are withdrawing. This is it. We failed to get Hubert, but at least we have recaptured Arya. Let's clean up the wreckage and return to Garrick Mark. Well done, everyone. The day is ours. <laughs> then we get blue lion knights. Well, since I have wave attack, it's... Well, it's a good thing I did not buy this out of the shop, because I really didn't want to get it for right now. Um... Yeah. Just, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's you. Are you tired? I think all of this work is just catching up with me. Just pretend that yawn never happened. By the way, I wanted to thank you for your help with the Aryan Road campaign the other day. You were exceptional. Your leadership was key in taking back Aryan Road safely. We all contributed. Indeed, everyone gave their all for victory. I am always being saved by those around me, it seems. It seems that after taking back Aryan Road, many things are changing within the kingdom. Specifically, the lesser lords of the lands surrounding Aryan Road have pledged vassalage to the kingdom. The knights they possess may now be added to the kingdom's army. And if that happens, I would like to leave them in your capable hands. Also, <laughs> my apologies. Here I am, simply throwing one report after another at you. Aren't you overdoing it? Perhaps. It is certainly true that I have been stuck in my quarters lately, dealing with more official business and other such tasks than ever before. But that is something I have been putting off for far too long. Though it is exhausting, filling in the blanks of five years and several months must be done. I am going to tackle them all, one at a time. That is one small part of my atonement. So, Professor... I have been doing all of the talking, but I assume you came here for a reason. I thought... I, I thought we all... I thought we could all celebrate our victory. I intend to steal you away to the victory celebration. A swiggity swooty per, uh, moment, perhaps? Alright, let's go with this one. A victory celebration, you say? You know... This reminds me of that time I dragged you to the dining hall. Do you recall? I do. If memory serves, that was after the mock battle between the houses. It was a wonderful time. We had just finished our mission, and we were invited to join in the celebration. You know, every once in a while, I do long to be part of the group as well. But do you think that it is really acceptable? For someone like me to quietly join in the merriment? Everyone's waiting for you. You're thinking too much. I, you're thinking about it too much. You really think so? Well, if you insist. Thank you, Professor. Now then, let's go. Together.
thanks to your help. Well worth the effort. again sometime, Professor. That was good exercise. That was good exercise. So, I was right. You're too kind. Now I'm feeling a bit shy. I was right. This will help keep me alive. I'm always improving. So, I was right. for a breather. Hey, Professor. You've been busy. Yep, noticed you have been too. Seems like it's been a real rough day for just about everybody, huh? I've been so busy I still haven't eaten. I hope there's still food left. Meat? No, uh, I'm so upset. Not sure if Silver uh, Silver likes candy. Here, have some candy. Here, have some meat. <laughs> How come you're carrying that around? Whatever, I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. When you're hungry enough, just about anything tastes good. Oh, <sighs> what a day. I need a nap, but I still gotta get the dining hall cleaned up. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. <laughs> Professor, that's funny. You push yourself harder than anybody else. You make me look lazy. Besides, <laughs> I don't even break a sweat doing this stuff. 
The day Lady Rhea comes home, I want her to see the monastery the way it was five years ago. That's why I do all this stuff. For her. And the harder I work, the better. Heck, I'd do more than I do now if there were hours in the day. But I can't go without sleep. Tried once. You must think I'm pretty weird, huh, Professor? I'm always on about Lady Rhea, and I'm not even from Fodlin. I bet most people around here think I'm kind of weird. But I'm real grateful for everything Lady Rhea's done for me. It's noble of you to show such gratitude. I don't think it's wrong to live for another. That's nice of you to say. Real nice. Thanks, Professor. It's good to know you like me. Helps me feel even more at home. I've heard people say that good folks have a heart of gold. Not real gold, I mean. Just, they always care about everybody else. Even guys like me. Lady Ray is incredible. But I figure you're just the same, Professor. <sighs> okay. I guess I gotta give in and get some sleep. I'll get up extra early to make up for it. Good night, Professor. Oh, it's thundering already. We will make a good team. Yes, together. <clears throat> good results. Paralog out of the way. Didn't want to spend so much time on it. I'm gonna comfort myself a little bit with my uh, very small pillow in my lap here to keep myself concentrated. About that new ability. Oh, grants luck and charm? Well, that's not very useful. I mean, the charm part of the luck, I believe it's useful a little bit. This will work. Welcome. Come back soon. Also, if the lights go out, as I said in one video already, 
when it starts, when the weather gets bad, um, I will end the stream. And then once the lights come back on, I will continue where I left off from. I will not start on anything until the lights come back on. I'm gonna put uh, the others in the front. Transmute? I could learn from that. Hmm, I want to take a look at that in the in abilities once we get back. I am prepared. What's the plan? Let's finish this! for our future. I can always depend on you. So good. That took too much effort. I swear it wasn't in vain. Thank <laughs> you. 
peace. I expect no less. It won't be in vain. What's in the darkness? Hate me if you must. I'm impressed. One reason and one alone. Predictable. No counter attack. Get up! Another victim. I'm stronger than before. I 
had to protect my friends. Also, where the video ends for the last uh, the last time I stream will be that designation of it stopping. Without me saying the old usual motto. So I'm going to restart another one and have it uh, have myself start from there. Now let's go get the creepy crawl. Uh, let's go beat the creepy crawlies, the giant ones. We're like almost to the next chapter, anyways. Hustle and bustle is <laughs> sailing on by. I'd be on it. The weird crawly wigglies. We gotta beat the weird crawly wigglies the before they kill us with rocks. Sunshine. I wonder how the weird crawly e wigglies eat. I believe they eat like how snakes eat. Which I do not want to imagine. Ready when you are. Because giant beasts who devour humans that are smaller than them is just the creepiest thing of all time. It's just like how snakes devour others, and then, like, how snakes actually devour humans since they're, uh, since snakes are a bit smaller. Look at this weird hentai shit. Oh god! Seems like fighting's all I do these days. Creepy crawly number four is not gonna move? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll have more status to go all the way up there. Leave it to me. I want my thrill! Where are they going? Are they going all the way towards the mountain over there to kill themselves? A Garthian. Thank you. We need more Garthian after all. What's my strategy? It didn't even it what? What the heck was that? It didn't even it they he didn't even uh take like never mind. Bugs My hand. <laughs> Ooh, three of Garthians.
Stab it. No, how about you stab it with a silver sword? I'm not wasting any more of this. Until we get more mithril, you are to not use this. <laughs> what if we invited, our, uh, invited a monster with this? Let's do it now. Oh, what the fuck, dude? You blew up my barrier side! Just wanted to get some food, you guys. Please, can you let me live? I want to get some food. How about no? You, Mr. Monster, are bad. Sounds in the background to interpret uh, interpret the monsters. Yeah. Oh. Eat rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine being defeated by me. Jeez, imagine being graved. Uh, imagine being hit by a giant ass rock. Your whole entire fucking ribcage would be shattered. Mm, one more. If we get some venom, uh, if we get some venom stone, then I'm going to close. I'm going to actually end that, of course. Oh, shut up, Thunder! You're not invited to this stream. I'm nah, just kidding. You can join us whenever you want. Mm -hmm. Moving Felix up a bit. Welcome! Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. 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 Come back soon. 
need to have flight at level 40. Also, we need to have 7 to catch up. I'll cut through. What's the point? Let's get things rolling. Okay. You forced my hand. I'm your girl. More umbral shits. I don't need new umbral shits. I'd be honored. I am prepared. Ready when you are. Aye, aye. What's my strategy? Leave it to me. <laughs> that was shitty poisoning, Grid. Yeah, it's just shitty poison. It's not it's not even the good kind either. <laughs> first come, first served. Yeah. I wanna look at that. Um Oh, confusion? What are these shit mites? Now's our chance. Poison it. Well, what was he aiming at? Did you guys see that? He was aiming. It just looked like he was aiming at his own battalion men. Ninja Art Assassination Slash! As you can see, I have lost my mind. So please bear with me as I grasp it back from the the depths of the universe. That shitty poison. What's next? Oh god. Well, uh, poison may hit, but it won't take effect to them being venomated. Sure. 
You got this, girl. I got an idea. We're at your side. I must destroy you now. Western Church Suppression. Nah, I'm done here. I want to get to the next chapter, damn it. So I don't have time for this. Don't. Now it's raining. Almost there. Mm. Oh my 
eggs if there's zero. Um... Yeah, I understand now. Whoops, I forgot to change. Here's the result. Good. Okay. The skill will serve me well in the future. Um, I need to go check on my plants and shit. Just be a uh, just be a quick check, and then I'm heading out. What's this month anyway? Ooh, a golden apple. Then I'm gonna plant some flowers. And then mix fruit. Well, hold on. Uh, how about this? To mix, uh, mix fruit. Now I'm gonna head out. I don't think I need anything else. Um. He's really close. He is really close. Until she mastered this, she is not to touch the that other one. I may change uh, Mercedes into a... Like, once she's done, I'm actually gonna turn her into a war cleric. But I need to get her brawling up a bit more. She's going to be a paladin, which she'll work out better. Uh, which she'll work out better with. Constance, I actually want to turn her into this, but I need to get her fate a bit higher. Okay, now let's go. their last stand at the center of House Regan territory in Deirdre. The Kingdom Army rushes to their aid after amassing more troops. Thank you. 
The citizens of Deirdre have all been evacuated and are now at sea. Are you sure about this? If Deirdre were to fall, those ships don't have enough resources for... Deirdre won't fall. Have some faith in me, will you? Oh, yes, sir. Our line of defense has been broken. The Imperial Army will be here any moment. Understood. You two join up with the troops in the city. Yes, sir. Judith, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's been years since I last battled in the city streets. Don't go messing up because your vision is weakened with age. Take the defensive for now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You hang in there too, boy. Your wounds from Granderfield haven't fully healed yet, have they? No, but it's not like I can sit this one out. I have to make my daring escape, after all. And for the last time, stop calling me boy. That's an official order from the leader of the Alliance. Understood, leader man. <laughs> I wonder if our little ray of hope will show up. We fought on opposite sides at Gondor, didn't we? They'll come. You can count on it. If anyone can bring him back, it's Teach. Teach will talk, and he'll listen. But more than anything, I've seen their skill and their abilities. I believe in them. Hawk! Reinforcements are coming from the West. Their banner is that of the Kingdom. What did I tell you? They're here, and just in time. It appears the Imperial Army has already marched into Daredevil and engaged the Alliance. It seems the Imperial advance has been stalled by guerrilla skirmishes. The Alliance forces are holding out, but they won't last much longer. That must be Judith of House Daphnel, who joined up with Claude's troops. To think Judith, a true hero, would find herself backed into a corner like this. It is not so. The Alliance has only drawn the enemy so deeply into the city to allow us to attack them from behind. Brilliant. They're planning a pincer attack? I believe so. He put his soldiers into position purely on the belief that we'd come. <laughs> I can't believe Clark would risk everything on that belief. He has placed all of his hopes on us. Let's make sure we live up to his expectations, Professor. Here we go. Let's move! I want to take a look at the enemies first. Dimitri, and I want you to move up to, uh, in case Arendel. Oh, uh, like. Arendel, um, wants to pick a fight. <laughs> Okay, I want to take a look. There are men marching. Uh, there are men from behind. This one has a magic bow. I need another one of these. The axe of Zoltan. I need that too. You have something as well. An Aurora shield. Judith. Okay, she's on Hilda as well. So where's Arundel? Oh, here he is. Alright, um, if there aren't any arch, I mean, there's one, oh wait, there's one, there's two, three, okay. Set, a, set this one out. Constance again. I mean, said I mean, I'm trying to catch all, like I'm catching all of them up, is what I'm doing here. Annette, you need to be. Well, she's on level 50, so she needs to be here. The others are catching up, and that's good. Um. It's only Cyril, huh? Cyril, you'll be with Hannah. She'll take care of you. Gilbert. Do 
Mage Ray. Like, these guys are already caught up, but I need to catch up Flame. I need to have her uh, at level 40. So, Violet will be that. And these guys are like at level 37, so I don't want them to catch up. All of your weapons have been good for now. Um, there are some abilities I want you guys to use. Like, some of you. I like Anna using lethality. And Felix is almost done with his, um... Like, Felix is almost done mastering his class. I believe Anna is almost done with hers, too. Um... I don't know if you guys are running out on, um, health products, but I'll... We have more in stock. And Byleth is our convoy, for that matter. Uh, Ingrid, I think I'm gonna... gonna give you more of these. You'll still use this, after all. I want you to shoot from far, sweetheart. Some of you need to be in the back, uh, like, some of you will have to be in the back to stop those guys. And I'll have Felix in. Or Felix will stay with us. Constance, you'll stay with us too. Mercedes, however, like, Mercedes and Ash will be in the back. And it's okay. The leader of the Alliance has managed to escape to the harbor, has he? Those rats resist in vain. Your Excellency, there's an army closing in on us from outside. The banners are those of House Blathid. Blathid? I see. That idiot failed, it seems. Hurry up and kill the leader of the Alliance. With him gone, Deirdre will fall. Right. I will not let Claude die. Let's hurry to his rescue. Gotcha. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. Hey, you got a weapon after all. So he'll be able to hold him off for a, uh, for a while, since he only has 20 usages of using that. And for what it's worth, I'm going to, like, if Anna Master her like, Masters... Well, she'll be able to use Felnot more, uh, more excessively. I'd be on it. Alright, let's get to it. No time to dilly-dally. At your service. Ready when you are. Just in case, I'll keep... Be, uh, like, I'll keep Sylvain in the back. Leave it to me. What's my strategy? Aye, aye! I'm your girl. I might want to keep Annette unprotected to make sure there are any thieves around to, you know, attack us and shit. Constance will get a head start. <clears throat> What's the plan? Let's finish this! Yeah! Put our hands out we need again. I expect no less. I'll cut through. I still need, uh, Felix to... Uh, no, 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 no. I to do this time. I need to do to catch up on the level up, so... I will, break you. I will use him now. I'll cut back for his kindness. Well done! Uh, 
too slow. <laughs> it is done. Onward. Claude's nuts asking me to protect the bridge. That's so much responsibility. But the guy's so helpless, I feel sorry for him. So, I'll do what I can to protect him. That a girl. <laughs> Didn't take any damage, that's good. Free Kugel. Oh, he has a venom weapon? Oh, now she's poison. Look, the Imperial Army Supply Corps. Attacking now would be a fine plan. That's why I have two in the back for that. <laughs> It's my duty. Thanks for the axe of Zoltan. I'll take good care of it. Let's keep our guard up. To level 50. This is for everyone's good. All going after her. Jesus Christ! The subjugation of Deirdre is complete. We will be joining the main army now. Ah, they're showing up one after another. Nothing for it but to blockade the gate leading to the town. I don't want the enemy's numbers to increase any more. Judith, what are you doing? for that shield. Now I'll have that for to do in case he gets a, a little bit out of... Well, their resistance is quite up a bit, so they'll be able to, uh, you know, do a lot of shit. And nobody's fool. Where is Violet? Oh, she moved up. Um... To do needs to get up there and try to... Archers are going to be a goddamn problem, so I really don't want Constance to die. It's going to be a problem for Constance, that is. 
So I'll have her fend off as many enemies as she possibly can. Only I shall know how to die here. There. I assume my skinny arrow finished it. I have grown marginally stronger. Down to this. Of course! He'll be fine. But she won't. No. Never mind. Imagine being defeated by me. Just, just pounding her. It's like a little lost kitty on the darn playground, and the dogs are just getting at her. Yeah. All right, good. Take care of those archers. Really don't want constant uh, hurt. Can't afford to slack off. You're making me work. Oh, fighting wears me out. It's no good. We're surrounded. But I need to hurry up and rescue the boy. To get to the harbor, first we have to get rid of the enemy mercenaries. There's no other way. Now you've made me mad. Jesus, go Judith! I like seeing the, uh, allies, uh... Like, I like seeing the allies crit others, too. Can't afford to slack off. Wow, and she changed. Wow, the Imperial soldiers uh, withdraw. Um, the Italians withdraw. Dude, and the way she switched from uh, the way she switched from her uh, darn relic to this. Smart move. All right, let's go. She's almost there. Almost there. Ash will be fine. He'll just stay down there. No, I'm just kidding. He will be with us. And that's at level 50. Just need her to... Uh, just need... Uh, Dimitri to get up to, uh, Arnhill. Yeah. It had to be done. Now I can do it. Thank you. That was a big help. I'll go and cover our leader. Hmm. Anytime. Damn, I need Mercedes to, uh... I'm gonna rewind time to have Mercedes heal up Constance. I'd be honored. I'm your girl. Same thing you did from before, Annette. <laughs> Can't afford to lose. Thank you. Aw, oh, well, never mind. What's the point? Wait, are they taking the whole of Ballistas back here? No, they're not. As you wish. 
It's a choice. Need you to take care of the archers, sweetie. Okay. Ready when you are. Reinforcements are off now. Sunshine. I assume a stray arrow finished it. Leave it to me. What's my strategy? I am prepared. All in his service! More proof of my loyalty. Good. This is no time to stand idle. Do it. Right. Aye, aye. Keep on moving up. Clever. I can't believe they pushed through to here. Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. Let's get to the harbor and finish off the leader of the alliance. <laughs> Shall not stay. What is he doing? Go and attack your nephew. Hopefully, I'll be more useful now. No! Okay. Don't get used to this. <laughs> oh, fighting wears me out. Destroy that archer. Imagine being defeated by me. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Hmm. I can leave 
don't know, like, if I can lead Arendelle to Ingrid, maybe I can hear Dimitri out. Uh, maybe I can get him towards Dimitri. I was just stronger. Oh, Ash! Oh my god, you were behind, buddy! Can't afford to slack off. Speed up! Nothing bites so hard as a cornered rat, eh? Just a scratch. Not quite. Darn the reinforcements, I forgot about that shit. Also, Hilda's not the best girl. She may be good. Hey, she may be great with an axe. Girl is uh, the girl still lacks upon train. Uh, lacks in her training. Well, slacks off in her training. A girl with the work. Uh, a girl that works hard much more better than her would be uh, Catherine. I wouldn't say Catherine's the best girl, but in my opinion, in my opinion only, I think Mercedes, Annette, Anna, also Constance, even Violet takes the title of the best girl. Let's not forget Shamir. Also Lysithia, too. I say Hilda is a good girl, but not best. Wait a minute, who is he going after to do? He can attack from afar. But I can lead him towards, uh... I can lead him towards Dimitri. Imagine being defeated by me. Great work. Almost done here. Smash! Hades? Okay. Let's try something clever. Thanks, uh, Judith. Much better. Also, thanks, um, Quads. Alliance healing people. You would raise a weapon against your uncle. 
You've grown into a savage of a man, just like your father. You are rather calm for one in your position. Or did you forget that this is a battlefield? Perhaps this is no time for words, Uncle. There will be time for that after we have settled things here. <laughs> Dude, I actually like that voice actor's voice. I won't stop marching on. I need to find out who he is. The one that plays Lord Arundel. Reminds me of my youth. Uncle, I need to know. The incident nine years ago. You were involved, weren't you? You know something. What did Cornelia? No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family after all. There it is. The light. You protected Hilda and Judith. <gasps> Another giant shell. Good. Now I can raise um I can raise one of your like I can raise uh Mercedes and Annette's defense. But I can only do one. But I don't want to waste it so fast. If I get another one, then maybe maybe I'll have a chance here. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. And again, even if we had managed to capture him alive, judging by the way he was acting. <clears throat> now, let's rejoice in our victory. We can think about that later. Teach is absolutely right. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. It's been a long time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? If you really felt that way, you would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. You know him well. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the Kingdom Capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that. But it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You crossed too many dangerous bridges from my liking. I know, I know. But that ends today. What do you mean? Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. <gasps> fail not! Legendary bow, fail not. Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Hold, Claude. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Leicester Alliance is no more. Just what are you planning, Claude? If you're going to leave Foden, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the Kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other Lords at the Roundtable Conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. What will you do now? Will you join our army? I'm leaving Fodlan. There are things I have to do. Dreams I need to see to fruition. That's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. You'd better not take on too many responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Who 
Oops. I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. You have my gratitude, Crota. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, we're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness. Okay, I'm going to give that to Anna, because she rightfully deserved it. Well, Dimitri, are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? What are you talking about? Didn't Lord Arendelle say something about you and Edelgard being family? To claim that the King and the Emperor are related, could it be? Ah, I suppose I never told you. Though, I do recall mentioning it briefly to the Professor. Lord Arendelle spoke the truth. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Political turmoil drove my stepmother out of the Empire. Father fell in love with her at first sight, and they married. I lost my birth mother before I was old enough to remember her. My stepmother filled that role for me. But she lost her life in Dusker nine years ago, along with Father. Hang on. I didn't even know she was your stepmother. Did my father know about this? Yes, all those who were close to my father knew, including Roderick. But to speak openly about it would have caused a scandal. And so she was our secret. No one in the general public knew about her. Naturally, the fact that Edelgard and I are step-siblings was kept a secret as well. I'm finally beginning to understand what you went through five years ago. I mean, Edelgard is the only family you have left, isn't she? To find out someone so precious to you is actually your most hated enemy. How heartbreaking. Tell me wait, about it. You two were born and raised in two different territories, right? So you probably never met until you were both at the Academy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the idea of fighting family is just about the worst thing ever. Well, Lynette, if you think that way, you should look at the um, uh, you should look at the Mishimas. They fight the exact same way as Edelgard and Dimitri fight, but one always win in the end. But seriously, <laughs> you should take a look at the Mishimas. But hopefully, the fact that she's a stepsister who you never really knew helps with the pain. I don't know. It was just a thought. I am afraid that's not the case. Though it was only for a short time, Edelgard once called Ferdia at home. It was a long time ago, but she was a cherished friend of mine. Wait! I remember now! She was that girl, wasn't she? The one you gave a dagger to! <laughs> so, your little girlfriend was Edelgard. Sylvain, if you have any more foolish things to say, please hold them for later. I do have a few more in my sleeve, but they can wait. Go on, your highness. This is important for us to hear. She may be a hated enemy now, but the Emperor is your old friend and your stepsister. Can you bring yourself to kill her? I will kill her, if I must. But if there is any chance that the world she seeks to create could be a just one, then I... I would love to see a future in which I may reach out my hand for her and have her reach back. That said, I have no intention of letting my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Too much is at stake. Your Highness, I think you should meet with the Emperor and at least try to talk to her. If there's any hope of ending this war without more bloodshed, we have to try. Besides, killing your own family. I'm sorry, but it's not right. Yeah. I... I think so too. And you are right that we should at least try. I see. So my uncle's defeat is beyond doubt? Yes, Your Majesty. I have confirmed it via countless channels. I advise that we accept this as a drop of joy amid a pool of sorrow. Pretty words, but I'm afraid we can't rest until the joy outweighs the sorrow. And for that to happen, it now seems we must confront them all at once. Dimitri, who took back Ferdiad. Claude, who managed to protect the Alliance. And that professor who was successfully mobilizing the Knights of Seros. What will you do, Your Majesty? Pull back our forces. In the west to Arium Road. 
in the east to... Fort Mercius, I presume. There is no better place for such a confrontation, after all. Indeed. And dispatch the Death Knight to guard it. He can buy us some time. In the meantime, I will... All right. Forgive me, but I must speak bluntly. I do not agree with what you intend to do. Though slight, there is a chance that once done, it cannot be undone. Even I cannot always choose the direction my path leads me. There is no other way. And so, I must walk on. Ah, so she's bringing out the Death Knight. Hey, she's bringing out the Death Knight, huh? Well, I haven't forgotten about the little present that I was going to give him later on. That just crossed my mind, and I'm gonna give it to him. Sweet and lovely. Also, death bringing, too. But in the meantime, that will wait for the ne uh, in the next episode. We will finally have our decisive battle with the Empire this month. The Eastern Lords are in the process of consolidating all of the troops within the entire kingdom. In addition, ever since Aryan Road's liberation, the Western Lords have been declaring their fealty, one after another. Affairs within the kingdom have calmed down considerably, and we even managed to win over the Alliance. Although it was a rough go at first, I'm starting to feel like we could actually win this. That's true. Thinking back on it now, we've really come a long way. We even have a lead as to where Rhea is located. It is as we predicted all along. If we are to rescue Rhea, then we must defeat the Emperor. Um, if we're going to march from the monastery to Inbar, then we'll have to cross the Great Bridge of Murden again, right? Yes, I believe so. As we have gained the Alliance's support, we should not have any trouble this time. After the bridge, we can cross Grander Field and head south. And then we'll take Mercius, the so-called impregnable fortress that towers on the other side. An impregnable... <laughs> An impregnable, uh, impregnable fortress? Fort Mercius, I know of it. They say it rivals even Orion Road. Count Berglings, the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs, once had troops stationed there. But according to our spies, a large-scale military force has entered the stronghold. Perhaps they are gathering soldiers from various regions to compensate for their losses. Okay. Should we try to avoid it? Can we really prevail? If we try to avoid it, those troops will follow us and attack from the rear. It is best for us to handle the situation head on. Once we take Fort Mercius, Enbar will be within reach. This is the Empire's last chance to stop us from arriving at our goal. In other words, if we take this fort, then our blades will be at the Emperor's throat in no time. If this is the last fort between us and them, then the Emperor will likely do everything she can to strengthen its defenses. I just received a report on that very subject. The one commanding the troops stationed at Fort Mercius is someone we have crossed blades with many times. And is the Death Knight who awaits us there. Not only we kicked his ass one time, we did it the second time, and now the third time. And this will be the last time he ever faces us again. But still, I'm going to give him a little gift to bring him back from the from the clutches of the Death Knight disguise in the next episode. Still need to hear more of these. Ah, oh, Jesus, that thunder is getting very, very, very roaring. Because first it settled down, and now it's still up there. Now I can just marry Claude. We can marry. Oh wait, we can marry. Did I just call you Claude? I'm sorry, Cyril. We can marry Cyril. How long does it take for me to? Uh, 
Huckleberry Dimitri to do Felix Mercedes. But Mercedes is what I'm going. Oh, like, Mercedes is what Violet is going to marry. I planned this out in the beginning of this whole playthrough. Alright, that will conclude this episode for now. I'll we'll have to, uh, save one of this as well, but if, like, if this video has not messed up, then I will try to redo it again, just in case. Also, thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and there's more to reenact it. There are more episodes from this game to reenact to. And after I beat this, I'm actually going to start on the Black Eagle's house. And then I will try to, uh... I will try to save, like, leave a copy file in case vi like the videos mess up a bit. Yeah. So yeah. Stay tuned for more.